Well, thank you for that background. So how do you describe the Paradoxical Commandments? What is the message you wanted to convey? I like to say the Paradoxical Commandments are guidelines for finding personal meaning in the face of adversity. So that's why each one starts with a statement that's supposed to be adverse, you know, something irritating or difficult or frustrating. But then each one is followed by the positive commandment to do the right thing anyway. Um, love people anyway, do good anyway, and so on. Um, and, and so, you know, that's the paradox. The, the paradox is that um, even when the world's difficult, even when things seem really crazy, uh, we can still find personal meaning and deep happiness. And, and we do that by facing the worst in the world with the best in ourselves. Um, that's, that's the idea. So the message is that there are some things that we can't control. So, you know, as individuals, we can't control the world economy, world population growth, natural disasters, fires and floods, uh, when a terrorist might attack, when a war might break out, you know, which companies are going to succeed, which jobs will be created, which jobs will be eliminated. We can work hard and prepare and seize opportunities. We've got to do that. We can join with others to try to have an impact on external events. Uh, we ought to do that too, but there are things that as individuals we just can't control. What we can control is our inner lives, our spiritual lives. So you and I get to decide who we're going to be and how we're going to live. And we can live our faith and we can live our values and we can be close to our family and friends and we can do what we know is right and good and true no matter what. No matter what. And, and the good news is that's where people have been finding a lot of meaning for thousands of years. And even better news is that finding personal meaning is actually a key to being deeply happy. That's kind of hard to describe. What do I mean by deep happiness? Um, I'm thinking of something that really touches the spirit, something that really connects with the soul. And people use a lot of words. They talk about self-actualization, self-fulfillment, being centered. People talk about uh, following their passion, their bliss. Um, I think for people uh, of faith, it's about finding the divine will for your life and then living that will. But whatever it is, however we define it, we know that finding personal meaning uh, is a key. So a lot of people see the Paradoxical Commandments as a personal declaration of independence. From all that stuff we can't control, we can still find meaning. It's how we respond uh, to what the world is doing. You know, I've, I've had uh, uh, people tell me that for them it's a, it's a no excuses policy. Um, okay, some people are illogical and reasonable self-centered. So what? That's no excuse. You've got to love them anyway. You don't want to limit your life by limiting your love. And Maybe the good you do today will be forgotten tomorrow. So what? It's no excuse. You don't run out and do bad. That's not who you are. That's not your character. I mean, you've got to do good anyway. I've had uh, several people come up to me and, you know, very kind of sad and thoughtful and said, you know, Kent, you must have been having a really bad year when you wrote the Paradoxical Commandments. Because each one starts with a statement of adversity, right? Uh, something difficult or frustrating. Um, actually, I wasn't having a, a bad year. I'm, I'm very optimistic. I think that things often will work out for you. I, I think that the idea is, is, is these statements are more of a, of a what if statement. So what if people are illogical and reasonable and self-centered? You've got to love them anyway. Um, what if the good you do today will be forgotten tomorrow? So it's more of a, a what if. I don't think that all of life is adverse all the time. The question is, what if life is really tough? What if bad things really happen? What if you put your heart and mind and soul into a program or a project and it just fails, and it fails miserably? Or what if you do a brilliant job and nobody notices? Nobody. And the answer is, so what? So what? You still got to be who you got to be. You still got to do what you got to do. You still got to live your faith and live your values and be close to your family and friends and do what you know is right and good and true because that's where you're going to find the meaning. And that's where you're going to find the deep happiness. And you don't want to give that up. You don't want to ever give that up. Certainly not when times are tough. Certainly not then.